Hey guys, Pastor Brandon here. Just want to invite you this Mother's Day. Uh, it's this Sunday. We're going to be talking about doing prophecy in the home. And Pastor Gail's with me, and she's a wonderful mother in the house of the Lord. Wonderful mom at home. Talk about prophecy in the home. We don't want to just do it at church. Maybe you grew up in church and you thought, well, prophecy is for church. Guys, we want to do uh, Christ not only in our, in our church, but we want to do it well everywhere we go, especially in our home. So can you talk about what does prophesying in our home look like? Well, first of all, everyone prophesies, whether they know it or not. That's good. They prophesy whenever they speak encouraging words, words that lift each other up, words that honor one another. That's the prophecy that Christ brings. Yeah. When I speak evil over family, evil over someone in my home, I'm also prophesying because life and death is in the power of my tongue. Yeah. So I can do it either way. One reason that I have been married for 50 years is because my husband and I learned to honor one another in mm. our speech. We learned to build one another up and not put each other down. We did that over our children also. It took us years to learn that though. We had to walk through a lot of so-called law and things that we had learned as young Christians, but now that grace has entered into the picture, our conversations have totally changed. Well, and, and what I hear you saying is seeing your spouse as righteous because Christ it ha gave us the gift of righteousness. And there's something you said too, you said, so making sure that we don't um, dishonor. Mm -hmm. and, and so talk about that. What does dishonor look like? Because, you know, we don't mean to dishonor, but so often it comes out. What does that look like for? Well, Paul told us to see no one after the flesh but to see each other after the spirit. So that's what I do in my home with my husband. He's not always perfect and I'm not perfect. But what we do is that we honor one another by seeing each other in the spirit. When I mess up and say something that I probably shouldn't say, my sweet little husband will say, that's not who you are. Mm. Or that's not what we say about that person and it helps me to correct myself. If I if he did it the wrong way, it would be like, I can't believe you said that about so and so. Why would you ever act that way? That's what we've learned not to do with each other, not to bring condemnation, shame, point out each other's sin, but to honor one another by looking at one another the way Christ made us to be. When That's we good. can do that in our home, then we're able to do it also in the body of Christ. So we're, we're finishing up here. Talk a little bit about, you know, kids. Uh, just give some advice to some, some moms since it's gonna, about to be Mother's Day. Some young moms, do they have to wait 50 years in marriage before they can start no, doing this? No, no. What's so wonderful is that we want you, the older women, want the younger women to learn from us and to begin where we're leaving off when we leave, we want to pass a baton to you so that the younger women will be able to start off their families with the idea of honoring, that culture of honor on your family and on your children and your husbands. It's so important. Your children watch what you do. Teach them by example. Teach them how to speak with each other because this is how you speak in your home. You don't have to raise your voice to get your point across. You don't have to yell and scream, but all you have to do is to lovingly speak words of encouragement over your children and over your husband. Speak those words so that these young children will learn that this is the language in our home. Yeah. This is the language that we take out. This is the language that Jesus has placed inside of each one of us. So for Mother's Day, I just wanna say thank you to all the moms. Uh, don't get discouraged. I know moms out there that are trying to do things uh, without maybe even fathers being in the picture. Um, I wanna encourage the young moms out there. Christ is with you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. There's forgiveness if you've blown up on your kids, had a bad day. We've done it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've had those moments where we just implode and there's grace that covers, uh, but he doesn't leave us the same. It doesn't give us an excuse to live a lifestyle 
of dishonor. And so I want to encourage you to have a home that honors, have a home that, that encourages one another, that's Christ-centered. Because we want all our kids to grow up, not just to, to love church and be church-centered, but to be Christ-centered. We bless you. Happy Mother's Day this weekend. Come join us if you don't have a church home. Come see us at Grace Fraternity Church. Thank you so much. Service starts at 1030. That's right.